The Rosewood Hotel in Nassau, the capital of the Bahamas, played host earlier this year to Pictay's first family forum. The event saw wealthy families and business owners from across Latin America and beyond gather in the luxurious retreat against a backdrop of azure waters and white sandy beaches. They had all made the journey in order to connect with a network of like-minded entrepreneurs and families and to exchange ideas with leading experts from Pictay, including group managing partner Mark Pictay and equity partner Alberto Valenzuela. Guests also attended the Family Forum to hear from a diverse lineup of exceptional speakers and panelists, which included, among others, former Governor of Florida, Jeb Bush, former President of the Central Bank of Argentina, Alfonso Pratt Guy, and investor, entrepreneur, philanthropist, and co founder of Netta Porter, Carmen Busquets. The overarching theme for the three-day event was building bridges in a fragmented world. Given that, it's perhaps unsurprising that the first session was dedicated to geopolitics and the emergence of a new era. The discussion painted a picture of a fractured world and deepening divisions, not just between global powers, but within them as well. The political situation in the US its gridlocks for the two years to come. The key question on the 2024, if Trump is a candidate or not, is what role does the US wants to play in the world? Do they want to look at America first, or do they want to be that leader that takes the world to the next stage? In this conversation, the European perspective was represented by former Italian Prime Minister Matteo Renzi. I think the relation uh, between the USA and China now are the key relation for the future of the world. The real risk is uh, for Europe to be the loser of the next century. And for that is important, uh, we can create a new Europe and Europe are able to play a role in the space challenger, in the healthcare challenger, in the digital innovation challenger, and not only to be a spectator in the match with USA and China. Of course, it's not easy to create a new Europe, but it's the only way to guarantee to our continent to be a significant presence in the new world. After this first session on geopolitics, the focus of the Family Forum shifted onto a range of other topics, from the entrepreneurs shaking up the luxury and fashion industries, to a conversation about how to navigate the choppy waters of today's financial markets. Environmental, social and governance issues were also centre stage, with discussions dedicated to lab-grown diamonds and ethical jewellery, as well as the conservation of endangered marine species. While nobody was under any illusions regarding the challenges of our current moment, the Family Forum nonetheless presented a picture of optimism and opportunity Meanwhile, some speakers used their time on stage to push for more urgent action and heightened ambition, such as Dan Dreyfus, who took to the stage during the fifth session of the Family Forum, which was focused on energy transition and decarbonisation. The objective, what we need to do, it's going to be the biggest infrastructure project that the world has ever embarked on by an order of magnitude. This is going to require well over $100 trillion of capital. And if we start yesterday, it will take at least 30 years. My fear is that many people do not understand how much work this is going to be, how much money this is going to cost. The lead time on which you need to start executing this project has to be done with a massive sense of urgency for us to reach these goals by 2050. 
While the Family Forum offers insights into and perspectives on the most important topics of the day, it's also a chance for guests to enjoy all the things that make the Bahamas one of the world's most desirable retreats. There was time set aside for attendees to play a round or two of golf and to have a dip in the crystal clear waters, not to mention lunches served with picturesque views and a dinner hosted within the Bahamas' leading art gallery. For those wealthy families attending from across Latin America, these activities outside of the formal sessions allowed the Family Forum to become exactly that, a forum, a space for lively discussion, for the exchange of ideas and for shared understanding.